What's up everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. Today Mike and I are building a chicken coop. In one of our previous videos we milled a whole bunch of boards on our Harbor Freight sawmill. Let's use them. Let's get to it. So we got the uh, levels marked. We're gonna set two beams. We use that string to uh, just mark level. And we're gonna go see what kind of beams we got. We cut a bunch uh, last summer on the sawmill, uh, but let's see what we got here. All right guys, so we got these beams down in here. Liz and I cut that one, that one, and that one. These used to be telephone poles, um, so they're treated. I think what we're gonna do is take this top one, rip it in half, and use that as our, uh, our headers. So we cut up this white pine that we found across the road on a county road, kind of up in the mountains. So we grabbed it and we cut it up. Ton of boards. We're not going to ship lap it like we've been doing up at the house. We're just going to do the lap siding and one of the edges is live. So we're going to kind of see how it looks. I think it'll look cool. Some of the boards are super wide and then some are a little bit more thin, but it should look pretty sweet. Yeah, pretty cool for a chicken coop. For a chicken coop. Yep. Hopefully we got enough here. We'll I know. See. I know. We're kind of thinking like that was one full tree and it's going to be pretty close. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Shoot it. Sit. it. She can. She can. Now just inset yours in on that post because the back will come and overlap that. Yep, okay. So go you know? your way. Your way. Uh, maybe like back my way just a bit. Okay, so see how much we have to dig it in. See this gap here? Uh -huh. So see if we can shake it down.
All right, so we have some leftover roofing panels from the roof of the shop. We have two of them. So we're measuring to see if they'll fit, making sure they'll fit. They have to be under 10 feet or over 10 feet. I messed up. I should have made this two wide, two panels wide. So a total of six feet and this is like seven feet. So now we have to use two full panels plus a little sliver of one. So what do you learn? We are able to use one full sheet of that siding for the roof of the chicken coop. And then we have a pile of some more random scrap metal. We're gonna see if we can find one that is closer in length than cutting up a brand new one for just one piece. So let's see what we have. Jed, knock it off. Get it out of here. Hey, get it out of here. Go. Big shout out to Electric Bikes for sending us the bikes. These things are sick. If you guys are interested, there's a link in the description. Yes, it's gonna get. That is perfect. It's about as wide as the door should open. Yeah.
All right, guys, so the next morning, this thing is looking good. Let's see how chickies are doing in here. Oh, yeah, Jed, get back. We got the rooster. So you guys know the rooster was the only one that survived the original attack. So we were able to capture him and give him a new flock. I think they love it so far. The mornings have been a little bit chilly, but I don't think it, it's really bothering them at all. They have fresh bedding in there. I think they huddle together to stay warm. They're using their little roosting bars. As time goes on, we're gonna be making some more improvements to this thing, but for now, it's working just fine. You can see that we got the their door cut in. Let's go check this out. We did take a lot of your guys' advice um, and we were planning to do the rocks, but underneath these rocks here, check this out. Liz has put fencing down. You can see fencing down in there as like an apron. So we got fencing in the ground all the way around. Here's some more that still needs to be covered. We're putting dirt and rocks over all that. Oh, look, there's one coming out right now. Perfect. So we'll leave him. I was going to go in there and show you guys, but that fencing that we have around the opening there, we got that stapled to the coop up in there. And then those boards that they're using as ramps, those are actually just temporary, just set there. We need to get a couple runners and some traction bars on those boards um, for them to come up and down. But yeah, this is the first time they're seeing it. I think they like it. So that's cool to have a project like that done. We're pretty confident in it. We do have some uh, some chicken wire ordered. Should be here to Tuesday. Yep, we're gonna go around all the eaves, all the soffits on the coop itself. But as far as the run, I think everything's fairly secure. I know, I'm super happy with it. I think we're definitely gonna be thanking ourselves now that we got this project done early so mm -hmm. we can just go the rest of the summer not having to worry about a secure pen. Right, yeah. I think it would be nice to get one more window on that side too of the coop. I know, we were thinking about that. That's the window the sun comes in. Yeah, so we'll have to get one of those. As you guys can see, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on behind us future videos to come can't wait we appreciate you guys watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing down below and we'll catch you in the next one see you next time